Hi there, my name is Bruce. I'm the owner of WoodHeatStoves.com. Been doing the stove business for some 30 years now, and I'm here to show you today about the Hearthstone line of wood stoves. And this is just a general overview. We have individual videos we've done on each of the products, as well as all the information that you'll find on our site with brochures and manuals, as well as chimney installation, chimney lining, so every aspect is available. And if you don't see the things you need to know about, send us an email. We'll be glad to fill it in. Here is one of the most popular stoves in the lineup, and here's some good reasons why. Hearthstone Company really started and continues to be the only manufacturer that makes a full line of soapstone wood stoves. This soapstone is a naturally occurring stone that the pioneers used to hold heat by their fires and then bring it out to their bedroom or sitting rooms or uh, places where they wanted to move heat around the home because soapstone holds heat and actually gives it back off again for a long period of time. So hours after the fire has gone out, the stove is still warm. On a normal wood stove out of cast iron or plate steel, you tend to see that the flame uh, fires up when you light your stove initially, the temperatures rise dramatically, it can overheat even, and then the temperature drops up quickly because the heat is transferred quickly through the material when you're dealing with cast iron or with plate steel. The soapstone allows the heat to saturate more gradually, although it's immediately radiating out through the glass and the st uh, cast iron components. But if you were to look at the temperature rise and fall in your home, as they demonstrate in the front of the brochure, and I'm sure in places on our website, you can actually see where the lower line, the red line, represents the temperature rise and fall that you'll find from soapstone, whereas the blue and the uh, yellow ochre are, are actually cast iron and plate steel. So if you're going to look at your variations in temperatures in your home, you're going to see a more gentle, even temperature rather than the peaks and valleys of a temperature normally heated by a wood stove of cast or plate steel. So you're saying that this stove will stay hot for hours after a plate steel or cast iron stove will be cold? Absolutely. It won't peak at the highest temperature, so the tendency to overheating is not as common, and also towards the tail end of the burn, say next morning after you've had a long burn through the night, you're still going to have heat coming out even when you're down to coals and ashes. Uh, most of the uh, stoves have many features including heat shields for reduced clearances to conserve space, an ash drawer for ease of maintenance, and although the manufacturer can't advise it because of concerns about careless use, um, some customers crack the ash drawer open and let the, ash, uh, the air come up through the grates because those last little coals in the morning uh, and rekindling them can be the most tedious part of wood handling. So with caution, some people do do that and find that it's a great aid to reducing kindling and fire relighting. The Heritage is the perfectly sized stove for the average home, 1,500 to 2,000 square foot. Manufacturer rates it up to 1,800, but of course we're serving all the way from Arizona to Alaska. So you determine from your own environment with a general concept being that larger is a little better, you want a longer burn time, so make sure you have the capacity you need. Another great feature that makes this stove attractive is a side loading door. A side loading door is often overlooked and rarely available as a convenience feature, but here, because you can push the log in from the end, your hand never goes into the firebox. You're pushing coals and ashes away from the door so they're less likely to fall out, and you're opening a smaller door than a front door would be so that the chances of smoke coming out are very much reduced. So what's the white stuff I see on the inside of the firebox there? Instead of refractory, which is common in most stoves, or steel or pl uh, plate steel or cast iron, which are more likely to break or warp over time, this is actually solid soapstone. You're looking at the inner portion of the inch and a quarter thick solid soapstone that the body of the stove is made out of. So the heat saturates from the inside to the out, um, penetrating heat through that way and delivering it into your home. Now you said this was a mid-sized heater. Uh, do they have anything that's larger or smaller? Well, that's a real good question because only within the last couple of years did they come out with the largest possible, which we're going to show you in another video, which is called the Equinox, which is about twice the capacity, although physically the body of the stove isn't even that much larger. It does have the side-loading door feature 